Jetzt Franzek Tiersek. On Position F. Representing France with the coach Franck Badiou. Tanguy de la Forêt. On position E, representing Korea, with his coach Pyeon Chok Luan. Here is So Hunte. <laughs> On position D, with the coach Ahmed Al Belushi. Here comes Said Al Belushi. On position C. Representing Italy with the coach Ophir Goldstein, Livia Shekagalina. <laughs> On position B, representing the Ukraine, the coach Svetlana Skatsko Vasil Kovalchuk. And on position A, representing Italy, with the coach Giuseppe Ugarani, Roberto Lazzaro. <laughs> and you saw him in advance, and now official, the jury member in charge for that final, Ian Howard, Great Britain. <laughs> and now it's the second command after my crest at the beginning. The most important person, the Chief Range Officer, Christian Bailly, France. Take your position. So, now the athletes have three minutes. Good evening and welcome back to Align for day three of the World Championships here in this wonderful setting, this shooting range with uh, so much pedigree and so much history. This is the second final of day three. Uh, one quota place available for the Paralympic Games throughout this R4 uh, mixed 10 meter tonight. air rifle standing well, final. On firing point A, starting off representing Italy, Roberto Lazzaro, gold medalist right here in Alain in 2021 in this particular event in the R4, as you can see on your screens. So no stranger to the gold colour of medals. So they have Moving on then, firing point B. This is Vasil Kovalchuk of Ukraine, competed at the Paralympic Games. Very, very experienced, this shooter. Uh, gold medalist and here in Elaine at the World Cup in 2019. Absolute plethora of medals. You will see Can he had a medal with to his cabinet today? Well, we'll soon find out. Only a 10 is counting at a 10.1 as a bad shot. So, really crazy. So you see the announcer, Philippe Bernard, there of Germany, the alongside Christian Baye, the chief range officer. Here on firing point C, this is Livia. Cheka Galina of Italy. Well, very, very young, competed at the Munich World Cup earlier this year and is just starting out really in her senior shooting journey. On firing point D, representing the home nation of the UAE, that's Saeed Al-Blushi. Competed at the Chateau World Cup earlier this year, 2022. And certainly hoping for good things here in this final. Has an awful lot of support, as you'd expect, being from the home nation at the fans from the UAE, certainly making a lot of the noise in the earlier final today. Here on firing point D, then representing the Republic of Korea, this is Sa Honte, who was a bronze medalist in Changwon at the World Cup not so long ago, and also a gold medalist in the R9 event and silver in the R5 as well. So again, no stranger to having medals uh, around his neck. Will he get another tonight? Moving on then to firing point F, representing France. Uh, this is Tungue de la Forêt. And hello to Jean-Michael Brun. I think that's how you say your uh, name on commenting on YouTube. Avec toi Tungue, I'm with you. 
Tungay, that's what that means in French, and uh, je parle français on peu uh, myself. It's uh, fairly limited, but I know enough to get by. So firing point G, representing ah. Slovenia. Flanchek Tiasek, very, very experienced shooter, gold in the R4 in Belgrade in 2018, and also the Paralympic silver medalist as well, and silver medalist of the Chateau World Cup earlier this year. So again, a plethora of medals, very, very experienced. He's a very nice guy, is Franchek. And then finally completing the lineup on firing point H, representing Great Britain, this is Ryan Cockbill, again another absolute gent of the sport. Uh, gold medalist in the mixed 10 metre air rifle R4, this exact event. And that was at the Munich World Cup, oh, witnessed that one myself, commentated on it too. It's and it was a wonderful moment for Ryan. Had a great result here. The next position is position G. So Philip Bernard of Germany, that's the announcer, the guy on the left, in the black jacket. Big, big character is Philip. You'll certainly know he's in the room before you do. And that's my name just there on screen. I'm Rory McCaster. I'll be your commentator for this final. So thank you very much for joining us. Wherever you are around the world, you're very, very welcome if you're joining us on YouTube. Hello. And likewise, if you're on Facebook, then hello. There's the lineup. Italy, Ukraine, Italy again, UAE, Republic of Korea, France, Slovenia, and Great Britain. Those are the countries represented. Now, Livia Galina has already been awarded a quota place, so there is one quota place remaining for this final. And that will go to whoever Position takes e, the gold medal because Republic it has to go to a remaining male because this is a mixed final. So you're probably not Korea new to shooting or certainly athletes. the parachuting sport, so which Punte. is just such a wonderful, wonderful sport. So impressive. I. In all my days working in the ISSF at the Olympics World Championships, to me personally, in all my years of working and shooting, there is nothing more impressive than a Paralympic competition and a parachuting sport such as this. So there's an example of the rifles that are in use, maximum weight of five and a half kilos. I've had a go at rifle shooting myself, didn't actually wear the suit, Position managed to score a six. 600, the rest of the time, completely missed the target. <laughs> didn't even hit the sheet. It's that difficult. It's such a precision sport, so highly skilled. And today and she's the only if you've had a try yourself, then you'll at least appreciate some of what the athletes are going through. She in Milan. She is student last Hello to Addy on YouTube. Thanks very much for almost spelling my surname incorrectly. And now with an MAC rather than an MC. With a surname McAllister, though, people will just run up to you and go, you relate to Kevin McAllister from Position Home Alone. B. The answer is, like, yeah, I wish I was. There's a lot, lot of fun in that house, and I missed out. Of the gold medal is 2012 in London. So the final is due to start in just a couple of minutes time. The athletes just having their sighting shots at the moment, just getting their so eye in, is here to become world ready for this world championship final. Ukraine. Someone will be crowned the world champion. Three medals also on offer, gold, silver and bronze. Position A, 631.1 points, a qualification score of the Italian World record holder in R4 at the World Cup Munich 2000. So we've got about 90 seconds before this final is due to start. If you are just joining us, then welcome. This is the R4 mixed 10 meter air rifle standing SH2 final. On day three of the Alain 2022 WSPS World Championships. So these are the four athletes. Great nowadays that we can almost get back to normal since the pandemic the and lockdowns the the and everyone can enjoy this wonderful spectacle sport in the way it should be celebrated which is all together which will held in together as one many of these athletes have experience in this grandest shooting arena 30 seconds so chief range officer christian bay of france has called 30 seconds so it looks like we're all on time But now get ready for the final. 
R4. Just looking at Franz Ektish there, just Hello. adjusting himself, getting ready and prepared for this final. Meanwhile, Ryan Cockbill, Great Britain, to the right of your screen. Looks like he's just taking a few final instructions, just settling in. For the first competition series, low. So we'll have two series of five shots, that's how it works, and then we'll go to single shots. That'll be shot 11, then shot 12. Shot 12 will also indicate our first elimination from this final, Stop. unless it goes to a shoot-off. So we're underway in this final. We have started. Opening shot of 10.5 from Kovalchuk of Ukraine, 10.6 from Cheka Galina of Italy. It's another 10.6 from Al Blushi of the UAE. And a 10.7 from De La Fore and Tirshek. We saw him just settling in a second ago. Opening shot, 10.9. You cannot get any better than that. 10.1 from Ryan Cockbill and Saar of the Republic of Korea with a 10.6. Just looking at Tiercheck. He's followed up a 10.9 with a 10.5 on his second shot. Another 10.5, both for Ryan Cockbill and De La Forêt of France. Also for Lazaro, 10.5. Ablushi with a 10.5 as well. This is really high standard. Very high. This is Saeed Ablushi. I'm just looking at the home nation. Here's Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain. Third shot, 10.4, so that's... Gonna keep him there or thereabouts. So we've had another 10.8 from De La Fore. 10.7 from Cheka Galina of Italy. Oh, I wouldn't want to call this one. This is Sa uh, Honta, Republic of Korea. A couple more 10.5s, that's from Tirshek and also from Cockbill of Great Britain. 10.7 from Kovalchuk of Ukraine. Uh, great shots of all the athletes there from Ryan Cockbill on firing point H right the way down to Roberto Lazaro of Italy on firing point A in the distance. Lots of shots going in above the 10.5. I think we're just waiting on De La Fore, are we, just to complete the series? Stop. Indeed, there we are. So all athletes like have fired their first three, five shots, and here's how zero, it stands at the top. We've got a tie between Tursek and Cheka Galina, so it's Slovenia and Italy who share the lead on both an exact score of 53, with a 0.3 difference between the joint leaders and De La Fore of France. Then Sao Hante of Republic of Korea, only 0.1 behind in fourth place, 0.2 behind him, Ablushi of UAE. 0.4 difference from Ryan Cockbill to Saeed no. Al-Blushi. 0.3 difference between Roberto Lazaro and Ryan Cockbill. Very, very close, this one. So we now move into the second series of oh. five shots. Chief Range Officer calls start. Okay. 
So I just had a question in about the actual bullseye for this particular final. And yes, indeed, they are aiming at a target right in the center that is 0.5 of a millimeter. Which just blows your brain, doesn't it? How on earth is it even possible? Well, you're witnessing it in front of you right now. A couple of 10.7s flying in. One from De La Forêt, also from Lazaro. 10.7 also from Saar of Republic of Korea. Such a high standard of shooting so far. It's always interesting to see what athletes can keep up this sort of pace, if that is even the right term. It's concentration really more than anything. Desire to win, all sorts. De La Foy with a 10.8. Also a 10.8 for Kovalchuk of Ukraine. 10.6 is flying in for Albushi and Cockbill. 10.7 from Tirshek. 10.8 from Czechogalina. Amazing standard, really high. Most of the athletes now have had four shots, despite the fact there's just under 10 minutes to go. Two minutes to go. Did I just say 10 minutes? Ten point eight from Tirshek. Ten point eight also from Kovalchuk. This is brilliant to watch. Just Sit back, relax, enjoy this. It's wonderful. <coughs> Here's Tirshek on firing Stop. point G. Yes, we now completed the Ukraine. second series and it's still a foray of France who now has now taken the clear one. lead. It's point four in front of Tirshek as it stands. So there was a joint tie for the lead. That's all changed now. So there we have it. De La Foya of France leads. Point four is the difference. And then Saar of Republic of Korea, point two behind. Just look at some of the, uh, those other differences as well, though. Point one, one point one, no difference at all uh, between Kovalchuk and Ablushi. He must a very, very tight final. We now move to single shots, so this will be shot 11. And then after shot 12, we'll have our first decision. elimination. So, the next two shots decide so this is where it all starts to count, even more than it did before the in the five-shot series. For the next competition shot, load. Start. So Chief Range Officer calls start. The athletes can now take their shots. Lazaro with a 10.7. 10.8 from Kovalchuk. 10.6 from Cheka Galina. 10.2 from Albushi. Sart with a 10.7. De La Fore oh. with a 10.4. Tirshek also with a 10.4 and Cockbill with a 10.5. So De La Forêt still leads. Sar from for him to get Republic of Korea shot very, very close. Only 0.3 behind after 11 shots. To so who comes up on the second rank, tier second Some on the of those other differences. So very, very close. Tirshek is only 0.1 behind. Cheka Galina only 0.1 behind Tirshek. Kovalchuk, 0.9. For the next competition, Galina. 
So it is the first elimination shot, unless there is a tie, in which case we'll go to a shoot-off. Bit in danger of elimination at the moment is Roberto Lazzaro Stop. on firing point A representing Italy. He's 0.6 behind, so 10.4 means Ryan Cockbill needs to score in the nines in order for Lazaro to survive. But Cockbill said a 10.9, so all change. Stop. And it means that the first athlete leaving and this final is on firing point A representing Italy, Roberto Lazzaro. Gold medalist Roberto here. Lazzaro. Last year in the World Cup in 2021. So certainly knows his way around this range. Uh, but and no medal today for place, Roberto Lazzaro of Italy. He finishes and leaves this final in eighth place. So uh, it's Della Fore who still leads the way at the top of the scoreboard. Tie for second place, Chica Galina and Saar. Both tied on 126.7. 1.0 so on the behind is of Slovenia. Kovalchuk of Ukraine then in fifth. Ryan Cockbill in sixth. And oh, Saeed al of the home nation of the UAE, no. is in seventh position. So De La Forêt leads by 0.4. Start. So this is shot 13. That's De La Forêt we're looking at the moment. Big sigh. Big intake of breath. Stop. Knows he's leading. It's got to stay there. The next shot is done. De La so he still leads lead. by 0 0.3. Zero so point three it was 0 0.4. It's just been reduced by 0.1. Who has an advantage to Tierthek who comes up. And then Tierthek in third at the, at the moment. Chica Galina now down to fourth. Ryan Coppola, Great Britain in fifth. Basil Kovalchuk of Ukraine. Sixth. and Saeed Al Blushi right from the UAE on the sixth is in seventh the position. Shot. The next competition shot, low. So this is shot 14, unless we have a tie, this will be our next elimination shot. Al Blushi is in seventh at the moment. Start. He's only 0.8 behind Kovalchuk, so Kovalchuk needs a pretty disastrous shot here in order to give Al Blushi a chance of survival. <laughs> Al Blushi with a 10.5. Ten point eight from Czech again as well. Great shot. And Ryan Cockbill with another ten point nine. And That's his second of the, the final. Next so next athlete to be eliminated eight. after Go fourteen shots in seventh position, points. representing the United home nation of UAE, Said Al Blushi. He couldn't get so to of applause who from the home supporters, rank. rightly so. Terrific achievement to make a world championship the final. But it's seventh position for today. Second. Waves over to the in crowd the to acknowledge their support. The and then takes his place to best. watch the rest of this final. So it's France who are still in front. De La Forêt leads. leads. The gap was 0.4. It was just 0.3. Now it's back up to 0.6. But look at that. No difference between Saar of the Republic of Korea and Cheka Galina. They're both tied for second place. So this is shot 15 if you are just joining us. This is the R4 mixed 10 meter air rifle standard Stop. SH2 final of the Alain 2022 World Championship. And this is Cheka Galina. There's already a quota place awarded to her. So there's just one quota place remaining for the Paralympic Games in Paris in 2024. 10.7 from De La Forêt, also 10.7 from Saar and from Ryan Cockbill. 
And a 10.7 from Kovalchuk. Uh, it's Cheka Galina with the lowest shot score, a 10.2. The other athletes, 10.7. Applause. What a high standard. Hello, France, give applause or not? Come on. So the next, on the, the next shot is shot 16. The advantage of 1.0 points. Determined sixth Chikagalina place at the moment. That's Kovalchuk of Ukraine. Is that possible by the next shot? So ladies and gentlemen, big applause for them for their Very, very close. So De La Fore leads with a difference of 0.6. For the next competition shot, low. So this will decide sixth. At the moment, Kovalchuk. Start. 1.0 behind Cheka Galina of Italy, who's been shooting ever so well. So the Italian's really going to have to make a mistake to give Kovalchuk a chance. 10.2 from the Ukrainian. 10.8 from Tirschek, 10.7 from De La Foy. Ryan Cockbill with a 10.5 of Great Britain. And Czechoglina with a 10.5. And Saar of Republic of Korea with a 10.4. So the next elimination the from this final. A shot of 10.2, but it wasn't quite enough, despite some very, very high Vasil standard of shooting Kovacuk. error in this final. Leaving in sixth place, representing Ukraine, Vasil Kovachuk. Leaves on a total of 167.1. So let's look back at the top. Place, Still France in, in front. With a gap De La Fore on a total of 169.7. And only so 0.4 to so point the third rank. on the second now. In front, is it? Who needs to reduce a gap of 0 0.8. 0 0.8. 0 .8. 7, I mean, no, 8. To De La Forêt. 0 0.8 in front. Before the fight. De La Forêt the from Tirschek. Now again, you pick applause, ladies and gentlemen. Motivate them. And then Saar of the Public Green third. Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain as slack up to fourth. Czech Galina of Italy in fifth. Low. So this is shot 17. <coughs> Start. And this is Cheka Galina of Italy. Oh, almost fired. Just tentative on the trigger there. De La Forêt, that was a 10.8. That was the French supporters. Cheka Galina with a 10.8. Ryan Cockbill with a 10.9, his third of the final so far. Saar with a 10.5. What can Tirschek hit? Here he is. Oh. Stop. 10.6. Unbelievable shooting here. Very, very high and standard. Not one shot below 10.5. And a 10.9, a perfect the shot the from Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain. He's now up to second. So, now so the fourth to zero Olivia Cheka Galina could find shot. herself eliminated and from this final. Saying that, though, she's only 0 0.1 behind Saar. This is right so now. close, this Compil final. The gap the between Saar in fourth and Tirschek in joint in second ladies, is only 0 0.3. And then Ryan Cockbill and Tirschek, who are tied on second, oh, find the themselves 0.5. Uh, sorry, yes, uh, 1.5, uh, sorry, 1.0 behind De La Forêt. He leads by, by 1.0, so has increased his lead. Stop. So this is shot 18. This will decide fifth place. Here's Cheka Galina. Fighting for survival in this final. Stop. So, Chief Ranger, and officer, we have the next decision. Called. The Stop. first place goes with 189. So fifth place in this final representing Italy, Italy Livia Cheka Galina, who already has a quota place for the Paralympic Games. 
So a shame she didn't get a medal for herself today, but close places there for her country, so she could very well find herself representing Italy in Paris in 2024. At least the final in fifth position on a total of 189.6. Uh, meanwhile, De La Forêt of France continues to lead the way, has pretty much led from the very early stages of this final. There's, there was a difference of 1.0, that's now been reduced to 0.9, and Ryan Cockbill has managed to separate himself from Saar of Republic of Korea. So, one, two, three, four, that's how it stands. It's tied for third place, Saar and Tirschek, both on 189.9. There is one quota place also available. That will go to the gold medalist. Stop. So another 50 seconds on the clock. That's how long the athletes have to take their shots. And you can take, you can go as quickly or as long as you like, as long as it's within the 50 second time period. Tirschek with a 10.6. De La Forêt with a 10.6. Cockbill 10.4, but look at that from Saar, the Republic of Korea at this stage of the final, First just brilliant. 10.8. The, there's been a battle going on for second position. And Saar is not going to let this go lightly. Very, very close now. So Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain in fourth. In danger of missing out on a medal. So Ryan has to try and stay in this in order to see a medal around his neck he's only 0.1 behind Tirschek of Slovenia 0.2 then is the difference between Tirschek in third and Saar of the Republic of Korea and Dilla Fore still leads the way Stop. so this is shot 20 this will decide fourth Dilla Fore 10.4 Cockbill with a 10.7, a 10.8 from Saar, look at that, which means Tushek's 10.6, it means there's now a shoot-off, so the first shoot-off of this final, to be fair, I think it was just a matter of time before this happened, because everything's been so close, the standard of shooting has just been so high, so Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain, and Francek Tirschek of Slovenia oh, find themselves the both tied on 211.1. So this is the first shoot-off of this final. Highest shot wins. Unless, of course, there are equal shots. And we'll go to another round. Stop. We had a four-round shoot-off in the 25 metre on day one. Oh, look at his fingers shaking under so much pressure. This is when nerves of steel... And a 10.7 from Tirschek despite the shakes, but a 10.8 from Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain. It means a medal is guaranteed for Great Britain and for Ryan. Just what colour it's going to be now still remains. But for Slovenia and for Francek Tirschek, unfortunately, 0.1 was the difference. That's how close shooting is at this particular standard. A medal is not to be today for Francek Tirschek of Slovenia. He leaves in fourth position from this epic and brilliant and just wonderful fantastic world championship final in the R4 mixed 10 meter air rifle so the Paralympic silver medalist Francek Tirschek is out of this final it's still France who lead the way De La Forêt with a lead of 0.4 and then Saab Republic of Korea in second and again another 0.4 difference between him and Ryan Cockbill the way Ryan's been shooting, he could very well close that gap. He's had, I believe, three 10.9s throughout this final. No. Here we go then, the medal stages. This is it. Stop. Here's De La Forêt who leads. The crowd clap along. Philip Bernard, the announcer, is conducting them, geeing them along. Trigger fingers, poised, he shot 10.4 from De La Forêt, a 10.8 from Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain, and a 10.8 also from Saar. 
of the Republic of Korea. Oh, what an yes, amazing, the amazing title this is. 10 for eight for Kokpe, 10 for eight for Incredible. So, 10.4 for Telefone. That means the gap becomes smaller. Only 0 0.4 for Kokpe. So goal. this next shot will decide and bronze an unless, of course, again, so the same. we go so to who becomes another shoot-off. And this World Cup, we'll see it by the next shot. So Ryan Cockville is 0 0.4 behind Tsar of Republic of Korea. He needs a shot that is 0.4 higher if he's to improve his current position of bronze medalist. De La Foray, on the other hand, settles in. He's tied at the top with Tsar. So can Ryan Cockville change bronze into silver or gold? to the foil with a 10.3, a 10.6 from the Briton. And a 10.3 from Saar. It means the Ryan Cockville is the bronze medalist, but he's just missed it by 0.1. Can you believe it? After 22 shots in this final, it's come down to 0.1 being the difference. So Great Britain have their first medal of this World Championship. Ryan Cockville punches the air. And rightly oh, so. For an unbelievable result. He was the gold Only medalist in this particular final back in Munich at the race. World Cup earlier on in and the so summer. Start by zero so he adds that gold with a bronze medal today for Great Britain. So That's Britain's first medal of these World Championships, and it's bronze. Both Let's turn our attention to the top. Look at this, it's tied. You couldn't get any closer. For the title. If you tuned in to watch a decent shooting final, shots, then this is where it's at. And there was me thinking that the 3P final earlier was a, was a classic, which it was. I won't give away any results in case you would like to watch that back on YouTube. But I highly urge you uh, to watch the 3P final, the R7 final from earlier today. It was absolutely brilliant. And what another spectacle we've got in front of us. This is so tense. They're tied. Two shots, possibly, to decide gold. Unless we go to a shoot-off. This is shot 23. 10.7 from the Frenchman. What can Saar respond with? Oh, it's a 10.5. It means there's a gap now of 0.2. Two great shots, but a 10.7. So how's this going to go? Is gold going to France? Are they going to claim a quota place for their own Paralympic Games in 2024? For the and for the title. Will Saar of the Republic of Korea sneak up, steal the gold, and take the quota place as well for the Paralympic Games in France? This is shot 24. This is tense. Stop. Ten point three from De La Foray. So Sar needs a really high shot here. Oh, a 10.2, it's not going to be enough. De La Foy punches the air. Look at the French support, they're on their feet. Hands in the air. They'll be the hosts of the Paralympic Games in 2024. That's a given, we already know that bit. They've also taken themselves a quota place as well for this final. So De La Foy could very well find himself representing his own nation in his homeland of France. There we go, I think he looks absolutely relieved. <laughs> Brilliant scenes here in Alain. The Frenchman takes off his cap. He is the world champion and the gold medalist. A total of 253.6. There's the silver medalist who really put up such a battle as well. Such a brilliant spectacle. What a great final representing the Republic of Korea. The silver medalist, Sa Hongtae. By the last shot, he's world champion. Philip Bernard just announcing De La Foy once again as the world champion and, and the gold medalist. Medal as Ryan Cockbill of Great Britain looking very proud. Please just punch. Well done, Ryan. You did well there. That's a bronze medal coming all the way back to Great Britain. Stick that one in the medal cabinet. Also, Ryan the world Championships. Is a great athlete. What a great achievement. For the bronze medalists of these world so the spectators on their feet taking Ryan photos. Cockpit. They'll just line up the athletes now. There they are then. So this is how it finished. 
A bronze for Great Britain, the first medal for what the British Isles, Ryan Cockbill. Everything was possible, the audience was and a silver grand. medal for the Republic of Korea the for Sa Hongte. Uh, but at the end, grandiose. And Thank you Tome very much, De La Fore, the gold medalist, world champion, and also bagged the quota the place as well. A nice little bonus, wouldn't you agree, eh? Have to honor well, what a day. Day three here song. at the Thank Elaine you. World Championships. It's been absolutely a superb day of shooting and if you'd like to watch back the R7 final you'll find that on YouTube likewise if you have just tuned in and perhaps missed this final uh, then you can watch that back as well and that's how it finished although obviously going through the journey and seeing how we got to that result is actually the enjoyment so Tunga Dilla Foye is the world champion and the gold medalist uh, we'll be back tomorrow for day four here of the Alain WSPS World Championships if you'd like to join us around 2.15 local time here in Alain uh, for the P1 final that will be our uh, final tomorrow we'll bring you live coverage of that so from myself Rory McAllister from the entire team uh, that brought you this live coverage of this final we bid you farewell good evening and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>